Today I'm going to talk about uh, how I learned how to swim. I started at a very young age. I remember the first day when I was like in elementary school age, I don't know, 10 years old or something. My mom signed me and my sister up for uh, swimming lessons at the local pool. Swim instructor, first day I remember, she grabbed her head, hand and took my head and just drowned me. <laughs> so I was scared from then on and I never wanted to be in the water afterwards. But. I, I I love being around water. You know, I love taking baths. I love being around flowing water. It it, it soothes me. I had this like yeah push pull. You know, and I loved I loved the water, but I was scared of being in the water. And and I know that if you're watching this video, maybe you're trying to overcome your fear of the water as well, like drowning, or if you had some sort of childhood trauma or some sort of. So just uh, yeah, some sort of like incident in, in your past where it made you become afraid of being in the water. I can re totally relate to you. After that incident, you know, I, I kept taking lessons and I didn't really improve. <laughs> Throughout elementary school and high school, I didn't really improve it that much. I went through the whole gauntlet of, you know, uh, community, community pool lessons, right? So after school, you go to these lessons and you're in a group of, I don't know, five to ten kids. And you have one swim instructor who's uh, like a bored teenager or tired teenager. And they, they go through some drills with you and they, they teach you things like how to do the, the front crawl or freestyle, back crawl, and breaststroke. I'm splashing myself because it's pretty hot. So this is how I keep cool, by the way. Yeah, I did that for quite a long time and I didn't really improve based on like looking back. I spent a lot of years in the pool, didn't really get to where I was, where I thought I'd be. Compared to other people, like I would say, like for example, uh, swim club swimmers, those guys were hella good and uh, every, every, every swimmer you see in the pool envies swim club swimmers because they're like the top gun of the, the pool. They're the best of the best. They, they swim for hours and they're really good. But I never uh, did get a chance to join those clubs. And uh, I wasn't really interested in swimming that much, swimming competitively. I just wanted to swim for, just for fun, know how to swim. Just like you would want to learn how to drive a car so you can drive a car and go anywhere you want. That's what swim club does. They teach you how to become really, really proficient at swimming and just Break, break limits. <laughs> That's not me. I, I drive a car just to go from A to B, not to, yeah, go from zero to 400 miles per hour in 60 seconds or something like that. No, that was never my goal in swimming. And I'm sure most of you can relate, and most of you probably have a similar goal as well. You don't really want to push your limits when it comes to swimming. You just want to know how to swim efficiently and just get a good workout in. Going back to those community pool swimming lessons, I didn't improve for quite a long time. I remember we had color systems back then. So we had like, um, I remember it was like maroon, red, and blue badges, 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 and green badges. But I remember I was always in maroon for quite a long time. And I would stay in that level for many, many years. So that goes to show that, yeah, community swimming pool lessons, community pool lessons, they're cheap. It's a good way to get to know your community, uh, your, your neighbors. And, you know, it's, it's like being in school, again, but in the water. You, know, you get to you make, you make friends in these lessons, socialize, but other than that, it's, it's a waste of time, in my opinion. It's not really good for getting really good at swimming. It wasn't until w when I was in college that I got really good. That I wanted to set a goal for myself. Okay, so that goal was to become a lifeguard actually. So I thought to myself, you know, instead of working at McDonald's or going to college, I would support myself by becoming a lifeguard slash swim instructor because that's what happens when you become a lifeguard, you also become a swim instructor at the same time. So what I did was, for about a year alone, I would go to the pool by myself and I would get good. <laughs> Right? And there, there are certain requirements to become a lifeguard, right? You have to 
you meet a certain criteria. So it's like you have to rescue a victim, you go through a simulation, and you gotta swim a certain time. So you gotta do like front crawl for about, I think it was 20 laps, 20 laps of front crawl non-stop under a certain time. I forgot the time. So I trained for that for about a year. So I took the lifeguarding courses, swim instructor courses, that are involved first aid courses, as well as self-practice. I would practice on my on my own. What I would do is I would go to the pool, I spend about an hour or two by myself at night, I would just train, 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 train. And I would ask for feedback from everyone. So usually there's lifeguards on hand. At night it's it's nice and cool and relaxed. So it's lifeguard has nothing to do, look at me and, and give me feedback. And I would say, can you take a look at my front crawl? Or can you take a look at my breaststroke? Can you take a look at my, yeah, whatever. And give me some feedback and that's what they would do. And I would get opinions from so many different people, different eyes. Doing 20 laps of front crawl nonstop. Oh God, that was grueling. That's, that's like running a marathon for the first time if you've never ran one. So it was hard. Again, what I would do in that case was just test myself, just go beyond my limits every time. So for example, I set a goal, do four laps, non-stop, okay? When I got comfortable with that, set another goal, okay? Five laps, non-stop, six laps, non-stop, 10 laps, non-stop. It got hard, you know, really hard. But again, you just, you just gotta do it. You gotta run through that. And then eventually you'll meet your goal. It's, it's, it's just a natural progression. It took me a year, okay, to get comfortable where I could swim front crawl 20, 20 laps nonstop at a 25 meter pool consist consistently, yeah, with no problems. If you have the technique down pat, then you don't have to worry. It's just all about your stamina. It's just like when you jog on a treadmill, you know, when you have your technique, running efficiently on a treadmill. <sighs> your breathing, your arm movements, your, your, your feet placement, right? And your, your mindset. When all those things are in sync, are aligned properly, then it's just a matter of exertion, right? Stamina, right? See how far you can push yourself. Now, here's my suggestions for you if you want to get good really fast when it comes to swimming. So the first option was, okay, community pool lessons. Okay, so as I said, you know, it took me many, many years of community pool lessons and I didn't really get good for many, many years and I thought, yeah, something was wrong back then. I mean, how can you be stuck in one level, one color, maroon, for so, for so long? Looking back on it, I would never register my child for community pool lessons. It's just a waste of time. If you want to take adult lessons in the pool, no, it's a waste of time. And I've taught those lessons personally. I've seen how they work. I'll, I'll save that for another video, but TLDR, a waste of time, waste of money. What about swim club? Okay, swim club, yeah, they have a different mindset. It's it's not about understanding your swimming. It's, it's just about meeting targets, meeting goals. <laughs> <laughs> so the coach wants you to perform in a competition. They want you to break a certain time or beat this person or that person swimming next to you. I talk to a lot of swim club swimmers or people who come from this background and they don't really understand what they're doing actually. <laughs> they don't understand their technique or how to explain it properly. They can do it but they can't really explain it or teach it properly. It's much better than community pool lessons. I mean, in terms of, yes, you will get a good workout. Uh, in terms of instruction, I don't know. <laughs> to just say, just do it, push yourself. You know, in that kind of example, you can see that there's not much understanding, right? They don't really go through the mechanics or most of them that I've seen. I'm not talking about all of them, but that's what generally what I see. They just push their students, you know, like, do it, swim faster, all right? You know, and Swim coaches, you know, the ones that are really good, they'll film you and they'll break it down behind the scenes. Those ones are good. Look for those. And what else is there? Uh, one on one swim instruction. So, finding a coach. Finding a swim coach in your area, someone that, that someone else recommends to you, is a good option, okay? But 
there's one caveat. You have to really connect with that person. You have to get along with that person. It's it's like finding a girlfriend. <laughs> you two have to click, okay? Communication has to be there. If the communication is not there, then he or she is not the one for you. Okay, so it's a lot like dating. <laughs> if he or she has taught this number of people, X number of people, and gotten them really good, then that's a, that's a really good sign to look out, watch out for, okay? So look for their track record. It's all about results, okay? So when you find a swim coach, make sure you connect with that person and you make sure that you get results with that person. If I'm not getting results with that person, within a short amount of time, if I'm not clicking with that person, I'm not hiring him anymore or I'm not ha working with her anymore. Another option is to teach yourself. <laughs> And this is one option that, that I do like, you know, because you can save the most money and if you, if you have a, a system that works for you, then yeah, you can do it. So what I mean by teaching yourself is by filming your swimming, giving it to a sim coach to look at, and then for you to look at as well, review every time you swim. Filming your swimming is the fastest way, in my opinion, to get better because you'll see exactly where your flaws are when you, when you review the tape. This is what I do actually too. So what I do is I work with clients one-on-one -on -one and I ask them to, because you know the location difference, they're around the world, I can't be there physically then. Okay, so I ask them to film their swimming and then they send their videotapes to me and then I take a look at it and I give them feedback and I can offer these services to you as well All right, so if you want to get in touch with me go to my website 7 okay? and I can, I, I can hook you up I can help you with the online coaching if you need this service you can't afford it not everyone can it's quite expensive the alternative is to take online lessons and this is a very new field actually so, so most of you, you're learning you, swimming through YouTube and I've seen a lot of swimming YouTube videos and some of them are good and some of them are really bad. So when you watch these videos, you don't know who's good and who's bad and you don't, you know, they can be a really good swimmer but when they're teaching it, their teaching method is really bad. Or they can teach really well but their swimming is really bad. <laughs> be careful of YouTube videos. It's free content but you don't know what you're getting. Yeah. And it's it, for a beginner swimmer it's really hard to sort through you know what's good and what's not good yeah i, I would not recommend learning through youtube <laughs> you're watching my youtube video but <sighs> be careful of yeah youtube videos trying to teach you swimming <laughs> if it gets you results then keep watching that's that's my my take on that those are your options five of them okay so try them out Give me some feedback, let me know how it works for you, and I will see you in the next time. Okay? And I'm burning up. So, I'm gonna do some laps, and I'll catch you in the next one, okay? Bye!